Hello, my name is Ian. I'm the founder of Agency Assassin, and I'm going to run you through creating a new campaign and some of the features and functionality of the software, how to be successful um, in creating a new campaign. This is November of 2022. Our software does change somewhat often, at least every few months. So um, it, is, it is current as of uh, November of 2022. So I'm just gonna jump right in here. So, um, first of all, we're just going to create a new campaign. So once you're in the software, you just click the new create, create new campaign button. Um, I'm going to be showing you the direct driving directions functionality. So we're going to do a physical location. If you do a service area business, it does not show up. So the the GUI for the driving directions only shows up with a physical location because you can't run driving directions otherwise. So I found a local business that we're just going to look up. Um, now to find a specific business. Um, you can type this in, uh, you can type uh, location details of your business if you're having trouble finding it down to like a physical address and we'll go ahead and resolve it and show it on the map. So tipping hat plumbing Lakewood. So this will show up and it'll actually show right where the business is located. So um, the most important factor for um, how competitive your search is, is your search radius. Um, well, you know, unless a chiropractor is super, super, super competitive, usually two to three miles is going to be good. Maybe for a service area business like this plumbing, you might do up to five miles. We'll go ahead and start with five miles on this one. So I'm just gonna click the search button to save that. All right, so now we found the business. Um, now um, we're gonna go ahead and name it. So I'm just gonna call this Tipping Hat Lakewood. It's just, this is just a name for you for your own convenience. The next thing that we need with driver directions is you actually need to get your CID for the location um, or Google Maps URL. So what works is if you just take the Google Maps URL for the location, you can go ahead and paste that right in and it'll validate to the CID. So that's super easy, that only takes a minute. You just paste in the Google Maps URL and it'll go ahead and give you the CID. And we use that just uh, because of the way that uh, driver directions are, are rendered. So we're gonna go ahead and save. So now, so now we've got the campaign um, saved, the information saved with the CID. I'm gonna enable this campaign. Okay, so next. So now we're given all the information. This conversion events, this is how many actual click-throughs we're gonna do. The way that this works is this is how many pages we're gonna render. So in other words, we try to, we give you 100 pages of data a day. So 100 pages of data means if, if you're doing all really badly ranking searches, it has to go through pages and pages and pages of reports to find the listing to click it. Um, basically, you're gonna pay per page. So if all of your listings are on page six, you're really only gonna get like 15 to 20 clicks in a day. If all of your results are on page one, you should get pretty close to 100 uh, clicks in a day. So bear that in mind when you're setting this. This is the percentage of the max. So again, if you're, um, if you're all on page one and you set it at 10%, you're gonna get 10 clicks that day. Um, but you know, again, it's scaled based upon how many pages it takes. So it's gonna, it's gonna do it out of that page budget. Um, so you can use this to, to figure out how many clicks you're gonna get. Most campaigns, um, you could go, I mean, honestly, if you set it up with good branded traffic, you can go pretty high. Um, people who are very conservative will start around 25% um, or sometimes even lower for very low search uh, volume terms. Um, I often do very high volume search. Um, so, uh, you know, it's kind of up to you, but if you follow my instructions, it's fairly safe to do a fairly large amount of traffic. So I'm gonna set this one up, start at 35% conversion events. So again, this will be somewhere between 25 and 35 events a day, depending on how well ranking the business is. Next, we're gonna select of these 35 events a day, how do we wanna break this up? Do we want those to be website clicks or clicks to call? Um, these are showing up in your Google business profile. Um, so, you know, if you're, if you're selecting this, these, these calls do show up uh, in your uh, Google business profile. So um, uh, the clicks to website, we actually block Google Analytics so we don't mess up your analytics. Um, it will still trigger in Google business analytics. So will the calls. Last of all is driving directions. This is our new feature. Driving directions um, maxes out at 10% of, of your total conversion spend. So if you just like bring it all the way over here, um, you know, you can pretty much figure you're gonna be somewhere between six to 10 daily driving directions. And it does vary a little bit based upon the way that our software works. So next we're gonna select keywords. So when you're doing keywords, I already found a list of keywords. I just went into Ahrefs for, for this business. 
and um, found all the common keywords. So this, uh, you know, we got about 35 keywords here and five are branded. And that's actually a pretty good ratio. I say 15 to 25% branded keywords. If you're starting a brand new, very fresh listing and you want to get it to rank quickly, you can do some branded early. Branded is good early. It does help Google see that in fact, people are looking for this company. And that way it makes it a little bit more believable if you're going to like page two to find the listing before you click on it. It makes it seem like somebody's trying to find this particular brand and that's very relevant to, to Google. And so that's one way that they um, make sure that, that, they, that you're a real listing that has valid traffic. So I'm just gonna copy these keywords and I'm just gonna drop them in here. And as you can see, we just added all these keywords. Um, oh, so it actually, so this is because of the commas here. So I'm gonna strip these out. Um, so um, what I would do if I were to do that again is I would just strip those commas out when I'm pasting it in, um, so that it didn't, um, so that it didn't do that. But so again, I have um, three. I've got three uh, branded keywords, and about um, twenty five unbranded keywords. So that's this is a good, this is a good split here. I'm pretty safe. All right, so once that's going, you know, we've got our search area. This is where it's going to be running uh, CTR searches. Um, we've got the business name. We've got the CID. We've selected how much of what kind of traffic we're going to do. So we're going to do 10% um, uh, driver directions. And it looks like we're going to be doing 51% um, click to call. And then we're going to be doing um, 30, 30 to 8, 39% um, clicks to website. So that's how we're splitting up our traffic on this campaign. Um, next, if you go scroll down further, you'll get to the driving direction setup. Um, this is super easy. So if you just collect, select all items, it's just gonna find a bunch of gas stations, apartments, schools, restaurants, et cetera. And it's just gonna create driving directions. So I'm gonna select 20 of each. I'm gonna make the radius a little bit bigger. I'll make it like six or seven miles. And then, um, and then I'm just gonna hit search. When I hit search, it's gonna automatically take these. It's gonna take all these businesses and it's gonna go ahead and add them to the campaign. And now at this point it's running and it'll actually add those, I can, I can leave and it'll go ahead and search for those landmarks and it'll be creating driving directions to this business from those landmarks um, uh, at random essentially. So I selected 200, so it'll make a list of 200 different, different businesses that it's going to build driving directions to that location from. As long as you have this branded in here, you can go pretty high on traffic like I said. If you're starting off with a brand new listing, you could do just branded for a week or two and you could just run traffic to it branded and I wouldn't do any driving directions at that point. And then you can come back in here and turn this up. Um, once the listing is seasoned and you know it's responding well, you can go ahead and turn up conversion events. It will tend to improve rankings, um, you know, and so you could just, you know, move this on up as much as you like. Um, most of my campaigns for my clients are running pretty close to 100%. So at that point, at that point, the campaign is saved. And you can see it in your dashboard and our dashboard here. And as soon as it started to run searches, you can see it's already found it. So it already ran a search for one of the keywords here and it found it at rank two and it's already building out the grid, the grid report here. So you'll go ahead, you'll find all of your grid data here for all your keywords. You'll find your ranking reports and it'll also give you a history of what ranking it was showing during uh, while uh, it was running those searches. And so over time, you'll get to see those rankings um, actually improve in this. Um, we are seeing that best results right now. Um, we do see results within usually a week um, currently of running campaigns, but um, we see a big boost at um, about two and about six months of traffic. So basically it does look like Google is um, at certain milestones, basically legitimizing the traffic that a listing receives and it's giving you more boost. So that happens over time. Um, so that's everything that we've got for you today. That's how you need to set up these campaigns to be really safe. Make sure that you have those branded keywords in there. And then also um, just that you set up your driving directions um, so that those uh, run correctly. Thank you so much. Have a good day.